good everyone my name is graphics now we want to construct angle 75 degree so like i said earlier you use your t square you place it to draw your horizontal line this way now let's assume from here to here is our horizontal line draw this way now I'll pick a point on that line. I'll say that my point should be point A. I'm going to measure that point to any distance of my choice. So I prefer using 50 millimeter. So from 5 to 0 is 50 millimeter. So this is my 5 here, right? To 0, 50 millimeter. I'll mark that point, point B. Now, like I said, angle 75 degree. It falls between angle 90 and what? And angle 60, right? It falls between angle 90 and 60. So the first thing I'll first of all construct is using my T square and C square as basis, right? So I'll first of all construct that angle 90 and what? And 60. I said earlier that when you place your T square like this, either this or the other one, when you are standing straight, this perpendicular under is 90. So I'll move it to point A. To point A, I'll just draw my faint line because that is not my destination. So I'll just draw this. So this line is my 90. Then I'm going to do that of what? Of 60. So if I move the C square this way to that point, so I'll be having angle what? Angle 60. Right? So this is 60. And this is what 90 you don't have to be writing all this is just for you to understand that is why i'm doing it that way and this base here is zero now we know the difference between 90 and 60 is what is 30 so if i bisect 30 i'm going to have 15 and the 15 plus 60 will give me what 75 so let's bisect and see so if i place my compass at this point here right i'm going to have um, I'll just place it this way. I'll have this this way. Right? So, where the line intersects my 60, I'll place it at that point. And I'll get this. And when the line intersects 90, I'll place it at that point also. I'm going to get this. So, where they meet will be my difference of 90 and 60, which is 15. So I'll just take in it. So the angle here is 75 because 15 plus 60 will give us what? 75, right? So I'll say the angle between here and the horizontal is what? 75 degree. Now, similarly, let's me construct angle 100 and what? 105. So you do the same thing, you extend, you draw your horizontal line this way, you draw, and you pick a point. Let's say I'm picking this point, and I was on that point is my point A. And I'm going to measure, let me see, 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter from here to this point, and I will take in it. So this is B. Now where what I'm looking for, that 105 falls in between 90 and 135, right? So what I will draw is, and for me to get 135, I need to add 90 plus 45 will give me 135, right? So I need both 90 and 45 in the other direction. So now, putting it this way, I'll take my compass, my set square. I'll first of all draw the angle 90 this way right and the next thing i'm going to do is to draw the other angle which is 45 this way to draw 45 this way now if you notice it this is 90 and this is what 45 so 90 plus 45 will give me 135 right and the difference between 90 and 135 is what is 45 right and I'm looking for 105. 
So I'll simply do is, if you know, there's no how you bisect 90 and 135 that you get 105. But the keyword is you need 60 degree, right? So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to place my set square this way, right? And construct my angle 60 on that line there. So if I do that, I will have this. So this is what I need here. So this is my angle 60, right? And the difference between 60 and 90 is 1 is 30, right? And if I bisect 30, I'm going to have 15. And 15 plus 9 will give you what? 105. So that is where our value is. So I'll bisect in between both of them this way. I'll bisect it this way. So where the line intersect 90, I will strike an arc. And where the line intersects 60, I'm going to strike another arc, right? So where they meet is 15 degree. And 15 plus 90 will give us 105. So I'm going to take in it. So this is my angle 100 and what? 105. So I will take my compass. I might just place it here. And take in this from here to this point. And um, do it this way. And this way also. And I'll write 105 degree. Now one thing you need to know if I want to construct 105 is that I need 90 angle 90 plus what plus angle 60 and that will give us what 150 right so I'll construct 160 at the left hand side is um is 60 at the left hand side is 150 right 60 at the left hand side is 150 so I consider 60 at the left hand side because if you look at this 90, this side is the left hand side, and this is what the right hand side. So 60 at this point is 150. So this is 150 here. So this is what I did. So if I had to construct it, construct 105, you need 90 and 60 at the left hand side because in between 60 and 90 is 105, is 105 right? So when I bisect the difference between 90 and 60. Is 30 so by 60 I'll have 15 and 15 plus 9 to give me 105. So that is what we have there. So if we're not told to construct angle 135, so if I construct 100, angle 135, I'll be having something like this. So let's just do this and we'll draw the cutting. So from here, I will just do the same thing draw my horizontal line this way. I'll draw my horizontal line this way. So I'll have this. So I'll pick a point, right, and that point will be my point A, and I'm going to measure 50, from 0 to 50, and doing that, I'm going to take in it, that will be what, point B. So I know that 135 falls in between 90 and 135 falls between 90 and 180, right? So what I'll do is, I'll take my set square, place it, my T square, I'll place it, right? Then I'll move my set square on it. So I can use this to do my 90, or I can use the other one to do my 90. So I'll just draw this vertical up. That is my 90, right? And um, if I use, for, for me to get 135, I need another special angle, which is what, 45. So 45 at the left hand side is 135. So that means I don't have to stress myself, I'll just draw my line. So this is my angle, 135. So I'll just stick in here this way. So this is 135. So the angle between here and here is one. 35 right so this is divided into two this way this is right hand side this is left hand side 45 on my left hand side is 135 60 at my left hand side is 150 are you with me so this is what we have angle 150 so i can check if i want to confirm if my reading is correct let me just check and show you what i'm trying to say so 
if I take my protractor and I place it on that line, use this point, this in between this point here, you see here, I place it in between that line and I let allow the 99 to as align with each other. This is my line 90 to align with this 90 line here. Now, if you're looking at it, I'll place it here. And what do you notice? The so this is the horizontal. This is the horizontal line zero. Zero is aligning with the horizontal, right? Like I, I'm always telling you that this is what zero degree, right? So from zero to this line here, this is a ninety. Then this is ninety. This is hundred. This is one ten, one twenty, one thirty, and what one thirty five. So this is the line of what one thirty five. You can see that we are on track. So you can always check with this. So if you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks for watching.